Hey guys, how's it going? Josh here, and this is a really interesting type of video because it's not a video where I'm necessarily breaking news, but at the same time, I'm kind of breaking pseudo news, I guess you could say. And the news is more speculatory in nature, but the core of it is that on the I guess Godzilla website, there is a tracking that is sponsored by the fictional organization Monarch, but basically it tracks Godzilla's location and Godzilla has been going to different places around the world. When it was Comic-Con, he was in that area. As of recording this, he recently just went to an interesting place in the Pacific Ocean. What is this place exactly? Well, it is the location of Skull Island. And this is really interesting because Skull Island is, of course, the home of King Kong. And it's also interesting because we know we're eventually getting in 2020 a Godzilla vs. Kong movie. This really makes me think. I was actually thinking earlier, how is Kong getting to the mainland? Because presumably Godzilla vs. Kong will not take place on Skull Island the whole time. So actually a funny idea came to mind of a huge Kong just kind of like swimming Michael Phelps style across the ocean. More realistically, that's not probably what's gonna happen. I wouldn't be surprised actually if Monarch is involved and, he f and they find a way of successfully transporting Godzilla, or not Godzilla, sorry, Kong from Skull Island onto the mainland. Maybe to either assist Godzilla in fighting a third creature. This is really interesting because it seemingly teases that Godzilla will interact with Kong in some way, shape, or form before Godzilla versus Kong. And I'm not trying to be ignorant here, so I'm not even going to say, and I know a lot of websites will probably report Godzilla's meeting Kong and, you know, Godzilla King of Monsters. But I don't think that's really what's happening here. I think it's more so likely this is teasing what the post-credits, mid-credits scene will likely be for Godzilla King of Monsters. Wouldn't be surprised if it was Godzilla maybe going off and going to Skull Island, or if the mid-credits scene is at Skull Island showing a now adult Kong. Because we know in King Kong or Kong Skull Island that he was young. He was not an adult by any means, which is why they were saying he's gonna get much bigger to the point where he would be a competitive fight against Godzilla, which is still kind of mind blowing to imagine considering how crazy powerful Godzilla is, especially in these legendary movies in the MonsterVerse. But I think it's really likely that we'll see that because Kong Skull Island's mid credit scene functioned very much so as a tease to Godzilla King of Monsters with their kind of cave drawings of Ghidorah and Mothra and Rodan. I wouldn't be surprised if this one does a similar function where we get to see King Kong instead of in 1973, now in 2018 as an adult, or I guess 2019, whatever the movie is going to finish taking place at. I'm really curious about this. I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What do you think is the purpose of showing Godzilla going to Skull Island? Because obviously it's not by mistake. You know, they wouldn't just do something like this by mistake. So do you think that Kong will appear in King of Monsters? And do you agree with my idea where probably in a mid credit scene, post credit scene, they will tease us Godzilla vs. Kong by showing us Kong on Kong Skull Island? That's really interesting, I think for sure. And it actually kind of further, uh, earlier we did a kind of video on the hollow earth theory. And it, it pretty much explained how the different mutos or I guess titans are able to get around the world so much, or they, I guess really hide from the surface world. And pretty much to summarize that, you guys can check our video on it if you want, but to summarize the hollow earth theory, it pretty much says that there's pockets under the earth, which subterranean creatures use to hide in because maybe Godzilla went into one of those pockets and he's now emerging from, I guess, Skull Island. This is really interesting. Maybe that's also how he meets Kong is through one of those hollow earth entrance exit ways. Comment below what your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about this? And I will see you guys later.